Long before the color gray came in 50 different shades, there was only one gray, and that was Dr. Meredith. She is lead physician on the indestructible Grey's Anatomy, still going strong Thursday nights here on ABC. Please welcome Ellen Pompeo. <laughs> You're talking about all of my favorite things. What are your favorite things? Gays, cakes, and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Gays, cakes, and donuts. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. Yeah, both of which I don't touch anymore. What but... about football? Because <laughs> I, mean, I, the... I know you are from... <laughs> Wait, which? <laughs> the cake and the donuts. Okay, the cakes yeah, and the donuts. Yeah, I still occasionally still... rub a gay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. It's good luck. <laughs> I, I want to ask you about, because I know you and your husband, Chris, are both from Massachusetts, mm -hmm. how you reacted to the Super Bowl on Sunday. Oh, was Do you care? It was his birthday. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a yeah. double whammy, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what I say. What? That's what they get for supporting the giant Cheeto in charge. <laughs> that's karma for you, Belichick. Did they support him, or did he decide they supported him? I didn't, they didn't denounce him. So, oh, so you were rooting against the Patriots? No, I didn't say that. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> interesting. So, when you say it was his birthday, was it like actually the day of yes. his birth? Yes, yes. Was so there a course, party that day? Yeah, there was a Super Bowl slash birthday party. And by the time, you know, it was time to take the cake out and sing, it was becoming obvious that it wasn't going to go in a good direction. So, <laughs> it was a very somber rendition. When of exactly happy did you give him the cake? It was like there were three minutes left. Oh, or really? Yeah, oh. it was pretty bad. And did he make bad. the right wish? I guess he didn't make the right yeah, wish, no, did he? It was a whole, it was bad. <laughs> well, that's it was terrible. Bad. I know. Well, but, but and the better news is you and your husband had a baby boy since the last time I saw you. Photograph you, Colson. <laughs> They're wearing matching outfits. Did you get him the matching outfits? No, he did. He oh, buys. He, did. he buys. That's Eli Christopher, and he buys all of his clothes. Chris does. And uh, what you can't see in that picture is I bought Eli a gold chain so yeah. he could match his dad. Oh, you can't see the chain. You can't yeah. see the chain. But, By the yeah. way, it's a little weird for a Patriots fan to name his kid Eli, isn't it? I mean, shouldn't you go? Did you have to bring that up? Tom you know Brady it was or something thing. like that. <laughs> Wait, did, I, did we talk about this? No. Oh my God! It was a what? Whole thing. Yeah, it sure. A it's a little thing. odd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but every name that I presented, he didn't like. You I know? see. And so Chris's last name is Ivory, and it's a, it's a specific. You know, it begins with a vowel and ends with a vowel. So there aren't many first names that sound good with Ivory. It has to flow. You know. Gotcha. And I didn't want to do another Chris Ivory. Uh huh. So I wanted a different name. And, and none of none of the names, you know, I wanted to go for the typical grease ball names, Rocco, Marcello, all the Italian yeah. names. Yeah, why and he, not? He was like he didn't, you know, he, he didn't, was like, like, those, he didn't yeah. like those. So I can't so Eli was like literally like the 75th name. Uh-huh. And of course he said, you know, you know that Eli Manning is the quarterback of the Giants or something, yeah, right? Yeah. I was just like, I can't, I can't. But, but I think I had beat him down, and somehow I won. Well, I think we know why his birthday went the way it did. <laughs> <laughs> were you working today on Grey's Anatomy? I wasn't. No, I had you the day off. Oh, you yeah. did? You know what I did today that was super fun? What? I did Michael Rappaport's podcast. Oh, he's a character. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a character. And I had so much fun with him. I ran it. He attacks me every once in a while on his podcast. And uh -huh. I ran into him oh, at he? a store. Ooh. And I said, I don't mind, because he's such a character. And I said, you ball buster. And um, what does he go after you about? Oh, he's... whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, okay. usually Howard Stern related things. Yeah. OK, he's jealous. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's of jealous. Of course he's jealous. Yes, yes. yes. And, and you're more handsome. Also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, now I'm going to get it again. <laughs> You guys, Michael Rappaport, uh, if, you, if you know who he is, you know what we're talking about here. <laughs> did he let you talk, or did he talk the whole time? He did. He, he let me talk. He let you talk. That's yeah. nice of him. Yeah. By the way, he's very lucky to have you. You, I, yeah. last uh -huh. uh, month, you made a huge stir with this interview, How I Became TV's $20 million Woman. I mean, this was like a big, big deal, wasn't it? I read this immediately upon seeing it, and I think everybody was talking about this because it's rare that uh, an actor will admit, will, you know, discuss their salary. For sure, and, you know, there's a couple of things. I mean, 
I'm really grateful for it, first of all, for a couple of reasons. I'll say that, you know, I have quite a big mouth. <laughs> and, and I'm honest to a fault, which in print can get you in trouble sometimes. Right. You know, when things are sort of printed, it's, it's not in the same text, the same way you said it. And I've gotten myself in trouble in, pa in the past, things I've said. Um, so I'm grateful that it was taken in the right way. You know, that Were nobody nervous? sort of, I was, I was So you nervous. said it, and then there's a, a few days between saying it and then it being printed. And you're like, oh no, what did I say? A hundred times. What part you know, were you calling most... my publicist? Like, are you sure it was okay? Well, they weren't in the room when I did the interview, so oh. it's just like call and so make they sure don't it's know okay. If it was okay. And, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm grateful that it was received in the way in which I intended it to be, which was as an empowering story for women, and to also, you know, be very honest about my faults and my shortcomings. And um, because I think that there's a lot of blame, especially right now, people are blaming people and there's a lot of finger pointing, but there's less people owning up to their side of things. And I wanted to sort of do a truthful interview and talk about my, my road to my own empowerment and how I got there, but also mistakes that I've made along the way. Um, so I, I think that was all reflected well. And yeah. I have to say, Jimmy, you know, the, the number of women that have come up to me since this has come out um, has been very moving to me. Really? Um, so they stories... approach you in person and, and say, yeah. oh, I'm glad yeah. you said what you said? Yep. Today, yeah. someone very close to me and very special to me said that that article was really impactful for me and moved me and helped me find my own power. Because as women, you know, it's, it's not only about what's done to us or what's not given to us. It's what don't we ask for? You know, how much of it is, isn't given to us or is it that we don't ask? And I think that as much as we can point the finger at other people and say, you don't give us or you don't treat us fairly, we also have to point the finger at ourselves and say, did we ask? Did we step up and have the um, gumption? Uh -huh. <laughs> you almost said <laughs> fault. <laughs> to ask yeah. for what a man would. We have to own our part of it. And sometimes <clears throat> we're too shy we're too afraid to be seen as difficult um, to really speak our minds. So, so uh, I'm, I'm grateful for, for all of it. I think as an actor also, there is a certain amount of insecurity that goes along with being doing this for a living that maybe you, you feel like, oh, I shouldn't be. I mean, because obviously whatever you make is a lot of money. I mean, and you compare it to people you grew up with and people you know, and then you go, well, this is obscene, really. But then you realize, oh, but the company I work for is making this amount of money, and the, my fellow actors are making this amount of money, and I should make this amount of money. And did you do that for yourself, or did you, or was it uh, in cooperation with your agent, or really was that a personal decision? It was really between Shonda and I. Uh huh. Um, and, you know, the decision to keep the show going or not, because she moved to Netflix. Right. And so, did I want to be involved in the show if she wasn't there? And what did her move to Netflix mean? You know, how present would she be or wouldn't she be? Right. Um, so, there was a lot of conversations. I have an amazing, I have two amazing lawyers, but one of them is a woman. And, um, what's the other one? He's a gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love a straight guy, too. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I just, I'm, I'm very lucky. I have a, a, a wonderful team of people and who are really supportive. And most importantly, you've got $20 million. Yeah. Dollars. <laughs> but I also want to say, I, I also want to say, let's just kiss the ring for a minute. I know you'll agree with me. You're not wearing one. That I think oh, I am. Okay. Not this no. ring. Oh. I think Bob Iger runs an amazing company. And I think it all comes from the top down. And I think that man is a class act and runs this company in a way that is just, um, I'm really impressed by everything he does. And I think the whole, it's, it's reflective from the top down. Was this part of getting the $20 million that you had to say yes. this about Bob? Yes, exactly, <laughs> yes. But it's true. I think it all starts at the top. And it's all sets an example for, you know, I have to be nice to my kids, I guess, because people are nice to me. Yeah. Feed them and give them 20 Thank God for Bob, or else you'd be God. mean to your son, yes, Eli. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Everything, yes, thank God for him. Well, but I am very happy for you. Thank I mean, you. this show is unbelievable. These Do you shows believe have it? come and gone. And, and thank you Grey's to the Anatomy fans. And Grey's Anatomy is still right there at the top. Ellen Pompeo, everybody. Grey's Anatomy, Thursday nights on ABC. We'll be right back.